Hello friends, so today in this video we can discuss the second problem or actually the third problem from the latest code forces round 726 problem name challenging cliffs. So in this problem you are given different like you can assume different buildings or different like stacks okay of different heights okay now you have to arrange these different uh, like hills or you can assume that different hills or different heights and you have to arrange these hills such that you have two objectives the first objective is you have to arrange these hills such that arrange them so that the absolute difference between the height of the first and the last building should be as small as possible so you have to minimize the difference between the first and the last building and also you have to make so this is some type of game you want to actually minimize like the the difference between the first and the last building and also you want to maximize the the uphills so as you can see this is some some sort of a game so in in, in this game if you move uh, like downhill or like in a uh, like in a straight fashion then it is not of a difficult move so moving uphill is difficult for you what i mean by this is let's assume that you are given some point this is some height now if you put the heights like this in this increasing fashion then it is it will be difficult for you to like climb up the mountain so it will be difficult for you so you want to maximize the difficulty but in this want the target also like you want you want to also place these heights or these buildings such that hills such that the difference between the first and the last building should be minimum as possible but there should be a lot of uphills okay they should not be like downhills because downhill will be considered as a like uh, not too difficult game so you want to increase your uphill point okay so now what the uh, like the simple example or the simple case for this problem can be the first objective is to find out the like the first main objective is to somehow find out like two buildings or two mountains such that the absolute difference should be as small as possible so what you can do here is just first sort out this whole array and after sorting out take every two consecutive elements and find out which is having the smallest absolute difference and take those buildings as the first and the last part because if you put the like iterate over all the buildings and find out which building is having the smallest difference between them like which is which building is having the smallest difference between them the height difference you can put the first building as the first building like that building as the starting building and the other building maybe that just close to that building so that the absolute difference between the first and this building is as close as possible now you want to put the address of the buildings between them such that you you will only face uphills okay so what the basic knowledge can be the basic trick can be like see if this is somewhat some value let's assume that this value is 5 okay now in this whole array which is given to you some elements will be greater than 5 some element will be smaller than 5 and so on if you put all the numbers which are greater than 5 in this increasing manner then obviously this will be an uphill what i mean by this is like the first element is 5 the, the other element is 6 or like 8 and then 10 and 15 and so on then this is increasing so this is actually making an uphill type of thing and this will increase the difficulty of the problem which is like according to in our favor but now if we keep on increasing this then it will at one point it will become so high and then this is a smaller value okay so then it can like it can drop it out i hope you get the point so there's only one drop so the difficulty of this problem is that like whether the uh, at how many points there's a drop so there's only one point which is a drop so it is keep on increasing so it is beneficial for us but at this point it is a drop so like there is only one point of drop so it is not a bad thing for us if there are multiple drops then it can form a difficulty for us so this can be one trick but the other case can be there like there can be also some number which is smaller than five okay so there could be some number which is smaller than five but there could be a number which is larger than five if you put all the numbers which are larger than five then it is good but maybe there's some number which is like one two and four okay if we put those number ahead of that then it will be causing us uh, some problem but as you can see let's assume that this number can be 4 so if we put like 1 2 4 then if there is some drop at this point then also it is an increasing so i'll tell you with the example to even make it more clear so the so the main objective for the problem is first sort the whole array out and find out what is the smallest difference between every two numbers okay the smallest difference let's assume equal to 2 okay i'm not taking about this example but let's assume that, that the smallest difference we can encounter is equal to 2. So the numbers can be 7 and 9. We, which we put in the first and the last position. Now there are some left out numbers. Okay. So left, left out numbers can be let's assume 1, 3, 5. Or like 1 and 4. 
ओके एंड बिट मे बी इक्वल टू इलेवन लाइक थर्टीन एंड नाइनटीन दीज आर नंबर्स विच आर लेफ्ट विच वी हैव टू ऑल्सो पुट इन द एरे सो वॉट यू कैन इजली डू एरे जस्ट पुट द नंबर्स विच आर ग्रेटर दैन सेवन इन दिस इंक्रीजिंग मैनर सो लाइक थर्टीन एंड नाइनटीन so that so that this part will be increasing okay now what you can do after this 1 and 4 are left if we put 1 and 4 also like this 1 and 4 then also after 19 it will having a drop because see this is uphill this is increasing increasing but at this point now the element drops so this is 19 and then 1 so this is a high drop but after 1 also 1 4 9 so this is keep on increasing so there is only one high drop i hope you get the point so How many high drops we can get? Like maybe one. So this is beneficial for us. So the answer can be just find out the minimum absolute difference. Take those indices at the starting and the ending point. Whatever the min the element which are remaining there, divide them into two halves. Okay, which is greater than the first element and the number which are smaller than this element. They are, they should be sorted out and just put the first element, then all the element which are larger than this, then all the element which are smaller than this, and this element. I hope you get the point. So this is the logic part of this problem. So what you can do here is just take the input of all the numbers, then sort the whole array out, and just find out the absolute difference, the smallest absolute difference, which is the smallest among all the absolute differences, and store that index out. Now, now take out all the elements which are left apart from these two numbers, which are having the smallest difference. We have taken those elements out. Now apart from those two elements, whatever the other rest of the numbers, what we'll do, we'll put them into two halves, the small and the big half. Small means that what are elements are which are larger than this and what what elements are smaller than this. Okay, so we just iterate over the whole uh, like whole array again. If we find out the element which is already taken out, which number is already taken out, the two elements which are having the smallest absolute difference. Apart from those elements, if if we encounter those two elements, we just continue on. Apart for those elements, if the element is, as you can see, sorry, if the element is larger than the smallest element, the smallest element is this. If the element is larger than the smallest element, we'll put them into the large array, the big array. If the element is smaller than the larger element, like this, larger means that the two elements which we have taken, the two elements which we have to put in the front and the end, among them which is the larger and the smallest. Okay. If they're smaller, then we'll again put them into a small array. So answer can be first put this element which is a smaller among the two elements, then put the bigger elements. Bigger means that which are larger than this, so that it will form an uphill. Then put all the smaller elements which are like in the just should be in a sorted manner. Which are like this, and then the last element, which is the, uh, the like the last element of the index. Okay, so I hope you get the point. The code will be in description. You can check those code out also. If you have any doubts, you can mention on. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, keep coding and bye.